So here we have the Gearist G3 2.4G wireless keyboard uh, from Amazon. So let's open it up and see what we have inside. So it comes in quite a nice sturdy box. First thing to come out is the charging cable. Have a look at that in a minute. We've also got a little manual, the main keyboard itself, and a little extension USB cable there. So let's take these one at a time, shall we? First, the, the manual. It's quite a good manual, quite a detailed one. All in English, no, not as much broken English as some of these have. And it's, it's quite detailed. It doesn't have everything I would have expected. I would have expected one of those little diagrams which tell you what each of the lights are. But the keyboard's quite easy to use, so I don't suppose we'll be looking at the manual too much. If we open up the main keyboard itself, here we are, very nice looking keyboard. Now, the best thing about this keyboard is the size. It quite literally fits into my hand like that. It's 15 centimeters across by about six centimeters, and it's also quite thin. So it's quite nice. It's about the same size as a remote control, um, and it just fits really nicely into the hands. Now, like me, the first thing you might be wondering is where on the earth is the little receiver? Well, if we look on the back, just here there's a little flap if we pull it open, it can be a bit stiff sometimes, but in there is your little receiver. So the receiver's tiny, it's not going to get in your way. You can use this little extension cable if you want, so that you can point it in any direction you like. But to be honest, it seems to pick up the keyboard very well, no matter where it's pointed. So it's quite nice to have the extension cable and you might want to use it for a little bit extra range but the receiver is quite good so I'll just plug it into my MacBook there we are that's now plugged in so we also have a charging cable you'll notice on the side of this device we have the little charging port now it's a, a mini USB rather than a micro USB which is an interesting choice but the charging cable works quite well. A little light comes on when it's charging and it takes a couple of hours to charge and I found that one charge will easily get me through a week of heavy use with this device. So that's, that's very handy indeed. Taking a look at the actual keyboard itself, it's got an on and off switch at the side. So let's put that to on. You'll notice we've got four different little lights here. The first one's to tell you when it's transmitting. So I'll press something, you'll see the orange light comes on. We've also got the charging light, which is red when it's charging. And we've also got a little cap locks button there as well to show that that is on. So the keyboard's quite nice. We've got these little rubber buttons, which feel quite nice. They have like a nice little click for feedback, which comes in quite well. You can easily use two buttons at the same time and it works perfectly fine like that. Here we've got our little trackpad, which is quite responsive. It's not the most accurate trackpad, but then I guess that's to be expected by the little size, which I would easily go for over a bigger trackpad, which means a bigger keyboard. You can use the click buttons at the bottom, or you can simply tap the trackpad, just like you would on a, a trackpad on a laptop. So that's very handy indeed. All the buttons work really well. Uh, I haven't had any times where I've pressed the button and it's not worked, so that's quite handy. There's no mistypes uh, with this button, which is, is perfect. The little transceiver can go onto a computer or an Android device, anything with a USB stick uh, port really, but where this little remote comes in really handy is with Android TV. If you've got an Android TV, maybe you've experienced that horrible trying to type with the remote. So that's where this comes in really handy and the trackpad is wonderful on Android TV. Really useful. So there's a good range on this device. I have put the, the little transceiver into my MacBook, which is in one room and walked into the other room and it still picks up everything that I do on the keyboard, which is very handy from Chromecasting from my, um, from my MacBook to the TV, which is in the other room. So very handy for that. Overall, it's a great device. I, I'd really recommend it if you're thinking of a, a little USB um, wireless 
keyboard like this it, it's a perfect size it, it, it really is small I've not had any problems any misses with it and the battery does last for ages well over a week of heavy use from one charge so that's a great device it definitely gets my thumbs up